Hello everybody, it's Dragana from Sasebo. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Today it's going to be another episode of Journal With Me Weekly and I'm going to be working in this journal. I decided to do a bit of work in the middle signature. This one's quite full. Since last session I think I added this here and that. You, you have seen perhaps uh, that and oh, that's about it yeah I did that there with some drops uh, gold drops there okay so I thought I haven't really done much work in this uh, signature here you know I just basically have some stuff there but it's not completed and this paper is like you know, just really plain. I don't know what to do with it. So I think I put some notes for myself there just to remember. But I recently bought a, this 8x8 paper pack, which had these lovely colors that work so well in my journal. Greens, gold, brown, you know, something that works really well in this journal. And I picked two of them today, this one and that one, and I want to do something with that. I also have this... Um, a piece of packaging cardstock and I cut out this shape but I left the cardstock and I just want to use that somewhere perhaps here and let's just get started okay first things first I'm going to take out these two pages that I want to work on so I don't make the rest of the journal dirty <laughs> and messy I put that aside and I'm going to be working on these two. Okay, uh, first I want to work on that one. So for here, I was thinking, I wanted to stay plain color because I'm going to have this here. So I don't want anything too busy, but it still needs to be, you know, something more than that. And I thought maybe I can just decoupage this plain napkin that has a little bit of texture. I'm going to scrunch it up like this I don't want it to straight or, you know I want it to have a bit of texture so I'll just do that then open it up okay I'll just use watered down PVA glue it's a container this is just white cool glue nothing fancy nothing special but as you can see it's very thick so I'm going to add a little bit of water to it, just like that. And I need to put something underneath. Let's use that. Okay, so I'll just spread this glue all over. I want the wrinkled look because most likely I will use some wax on top perhaps gold or something like that it's good now let's do this side we had gorgeous weather here last few weeks and I think there's going to be a change today because it's very windy and they forecasted rain but we didn't have a drop of rain in like two weeks or something like that Looking forward to the winter as well. I love winter. Okay, that is done. I can leave it to dry. Now this, I was thinking what sort of color I should use. And I have this gold acrylic paint. And perhaps I can just paint it in gold. I'm thinking if I should round the edges or something. Let's just paint this with gold. I have to be really careful because this is just hanging by a thread.
I'm not adding any water, I'm just using it straight from the tube. This cardstock is really absorbent. So I might have to do two coats to get a really nice finish. Okay. It looks nice. That. Wait for it to dry and then I'll do a second coat. Okay, now this one, this is a jelly print. I think it needs inking around. So I'm going to glue this onto this side and that onto that side. But I think I need to ink the edges all the way around. That's it for this side. Now let's see here what would look. Just try here in the middle. Is that better? I think this. Because this is already yellow. And all I need to do is add a bit of ink on the edge. ink this area as well because I won't glue this all the way to the fold okay. so this is now nice and inked on the other side now we need to mark how much to cut and because this is smaller than this paper I will leave as much space here as this here, just so that it's nice and uniform. Actually, this is easier like this because I want to leave some space here too. So like that. And here I need to cut like that. So I'll just cut those two. Like that. Like this. And I'm left with this so I can use it to make tags or something else. Now the corners here are rounded so I need to round the corners and these. I just want to make sure I put this the right way up. Can't really tell but this seems all right. Just do that. And this one. but something like that and I'll just ink these two but just the, the white edge that's it I think that's going to look really nice and using some white glue I love how that looks and this here too. Ok, 
Okay, I will wait for this to dry and then I'll take it to my sewing machine. I'll just do a straight stitch around. Okay, that is dry and I put it through the sewing machine. It looks good on both sides. I think that one is okay for now. This needs to dry a bit more. We'll just pull, it, pull this excess off. I'm going to lift it off this and perhaps I can even use a heat tool now. You can't use a heat tool if it's on plastic like this. It's going to melt. It's like touch dry, but it's not dry enough. I might as well work on this side and I wanted to have a border here and I wanted to use a stencil. Whatever I use, it will have to go well with this. This is something either green or pink. Let's do this side first. I haven't cleaned this stencil, so it's a little bit difficult to see. But I think this should be all right. And I have this uh, powder pink. Yeah. I could use some white, but I think I want to use this cream color. And also a little bit of this crimson red. I need a sponge. And I'll just protect this surface with another piece of paper. Start off with the pink. God, it actually moved. That's not good. I'm going to just fix it because it moved and I didn't put it straight. I'll just this I'll just blend this in a little bit. All fixed. <laughs> this is what you do when when your stenciling doesn't work out the way it should. And now I will turn it this way because I can see the edge here. So that it's not on the wrong side. And now I might use just these two colors together like this. Now for this side, I don't think I want to use that same stencil. I'm going to use this one. Okay, I think I'm not gonna do anything else to it. Might have done too much already. <laughs> Perhaps just ink around the edges. Okay, I'll just cut off the excess. Might have to take it in a little bit. Having that one there, and also I want to do something here. I really 
like how it looks. Okay, let's test it. I think it looks good. But I think I want to add a bit of black paint underneath. I'll just mark where I want this to go. Pencil marks. Just so that I don't go too far out. I don't know if I should put anything else on top of that. Like this dried one. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just to bring out those um, wrinkles. Yeah. This side of this cardstock is a little bit glossy. But I'm hoping it's going to work out. not black all the way here but that's all right because i can go with the black marker or just with the brush i don't want to unglue this i'll just put this underneath something heavy for a few seconds okay i just want to see what this looks like in the journal is going to be here. It's going to be there. So so far I'm happy with that. But I just you know this I don't like how it turned out. And I found this piece of sheer fabric. This is probably something like a curtain of some sort. And I thought perhaps I can make like a like a pocket in here. Okay. Just make a little mark where I need to cut. It's going to be just a little sheer pocket and maybe I can put um, some lace here to make that uh, area a little bit sturdier. You can see now that I didn't cut it properly. I had this one fits script. Thinking it might look good like that on both sides. I kind of like it. I'm just gonna do that. Just take it to my sewing machine and just stitch it to this fabric. This is what that looks like. And I'll just use these scabble scissors to cut away this excess. Just put a clip. So I'll just go around using straight or zigzag stitch and I'll catch all these edges, including this, just join them together. 
Okay, that's what that looks like. I'm quite happy with it. Now I have to just cut off the excess. And I have to make sure I don't catch the thread. Okay, now here I have a bit of a mistake. But I can actually put a decoration there, a flower, or butterfly or some sort, put a charm or something. Because I really don't want to take it apart and do it again. It's hard sewing this uh, fabric that's kind of like this, has a mind of its own. I'm quite happy with that, how it turned out wasn't sure in the beginning but now I'm happy with it and that as well. Okay, let's have a look. It's pretty I think. Let's see. This goes in here. Maybe this one. I don't want it to be so deep like that. And actually, I won't do it here. I do want to spoil that. I'm going to do a pocket here. And I might as well do the, the triple one. I'll just cut this on my trimmer. Might be quicker. Here it is. Perhaps I can do something like that. I haven't done any of these triple pockets in this journal anyway. Maybe something like that. So I still have room to put things in. Is good. Now I want to decorate that a bit. Okay, I have this word transformation. I think I want to put it somewhere here. Oh, my butterflies. Let's see if I have a few that are in this kind of color. I think that one looks good. There's flowers as well. But I think I want butterflies with the word transformation somehow calls for butterflies. I can't put any up here because the pockets are going to be used. I think this grungy looking one would fit nicely. Perhaps something darker underneath so that this uh, tracing paper 
part of the butterfly stands out a little bit better. Could be even just a piece of fabric and even something underneath this word. Well, that looks okay on that. And a little bit of cheesecloth. Sorry, I moved the camera. I get carried away. I'm very happy with this one. So we'll have some pockets there. One, two, three. And we have that there. I have a big pocket on both sides of these and it's really pretty so that would be it for me today i'll just look through my stash and find a few things to fill out these pockets see what looks good or not until next time bye bye